And welcome back to Super TV. Remember, you're still tuned to Channel 150 Open View with Super TV, where you bet with the biggest. But right now, like yesterday, when I promised that we're still celebrating Women's Month, but yesterday was Women's Day, and Utabiso did promise us that there, is, there are a couple of little things that he wants to surprise us here in studio today. So that means if he's doing it for us, that he is doing it for you also at home. Other than that, we're going straight to Utabiso Dagamela, who is an artist, a painter. He is live in his studio where he's going to talk about the work that he has done and also some of the work that he has created for us right here on Super TV. Tabiso, welcome and thank you for joining us. Hi, Wio. Thank you for having me once again. Mm -hmm. Now, yesterday we, sp we spoke about uh, Women's Day and Women's Month and how you uh, see uh, other men treating women uh, when it comes to these times. We're dealing with the pandemic. A lot of um, uh, gender-based violence have been happening at this point. Please uh, let us know your views when it comes to celebrating women as we are still celebrating Women's Month right here on Super TV. Uh, thank you for that, Rio. You know, like I was saying yesterday that... Uh, we, we, we have come to a point in our phase of history where women are ready, people are like taking over and they've uh, grown to be stronger than we always assumed they are. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, there they really is a need to, to be giving women uh, a larger space to actually explore their talents, to try and show that they can also do something, that they can also contribute to, 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 to the social economic and political spheres of our contemporary uh, setup. And uh, for that reason, I think also one of the other things is that while we do that, we also need to prepare men to be able to, to, be able to handle strong women as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Now, the, the painting behind you um, was inspired by women because you love women and because you love children. Now, give us a broad um, uh, uh, understanding onto why you decided to do the painting behind you. Yeah, so um, being raised by a single mother myself, I, I, I've really had a, an awesome respect for women. And that has really contributed immensely into developing the themes that I raise in my work. Mm -hmm. So as you can see the painting behind me, this one, um, it, it's a, a portrayal of women, the strength, and it, it shows um, the, the two women are sort of in a conversation. Uh, a conversation about the, the current affairs, about what they can do to contribute to the to the society now, and what they they, they, they need to learn or to teach other women in the in the in the same uh, same same thought. So the the painting generally is one of those that I do to try and inspire positivity in women and to try and show that women are capable of of doing things that. Only, that has only been attributed to men thus far. Mm -hmm. So th these are some of the themes that are discussed in this painting. Mm -hmm. Now, normally when it comes to painting, the color red, when painters yes. or artists describe it, that it is the color where you express your pain or where color where you kind of express the trials that you're going through. So give us a broad um, explanation on the color red on the painting and the blue that I can see. All right, so normally uh, colors are interpreted differently according to different people's experiences. Mm -hmm. And in this case, the, the, the color that I used, it's not like pure red, like is it a blood red, mm -hmm. but it, it's rather a mix of red and orange color. Mm -hmm. And to me, that is a color of, that is a warm color that really stands out to depict how warm mm -hmm. women are. As, 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 as I, will, I, I was saying earlier that, that, you know, being raised by a single mother, it is really played a pivotal role in shaping mm -hmm. my views on women. And I really feel warmed when, when I'm around uh, those uh, people who really played a pivotal role in, in, in raising me up. Yeah. So the color, the color really is there to depict warmth and to, to try and invite us as the audience to appreciate the, 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 the importance of the role that is played by women. And blue uh, naturally is a color that uh, give depicts life and and endurance. In in this sense, it is deep. It has depth in it. So it 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 shows the, the the depth and endurance of women. And in in so many ways, even in the trials that they face, that they really are people whom we can look up to, and allow to occupy certain spheres in life and really 
uh, benefit from doing so as men as well. Mm -hmm. Now, that was a, such a well said and explained painting right there, but how much will you sell it for? Um, not more than 20K. So how much do you normally your paintings, um, do you sell them for, Tabiso? Um, this, this size is a, is a size uh, 120 centimeters by 160 centimeters. Uh -huh. So um, normally sizes like this range from between 20 to 28,000, mm -hmm. which is really, uh, I think it's worth it because art is expensive because of yeah. the work, the amount of work that you put in as artists, it, it, it's taxing uh, if you, even emotionally and, and physically. Uh, there are times when you, as, as artists, we really need to step aside you know, and try to regain our strength. Mm -hmm. So the amount is really worth it, and it's still available. It's still up for sale. Mm -hmm. Now, in South Africa, we do have a Department of Arts and Culture where young people get inspired, young people are encouraged to continue with their craft. Do you think that is enough done when it comes to your side of your career? In you, you are a painter. Do you think is there more of those platforms for you guys? Um, thank you for that question. I, I, I think in this regard really uh, more can be done because for me it has to start not only up there with the ministry but mm. it has to start at the at kindergarten even um one one great artist once said we are all born artists it's just a matter of choosing to remain one mm -hmm. so in, in my opinion I, I think it's important that kids are, are given platforms to 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 practice art and to really hone their talents at a very young age that way, and, and it's also a mandate to parents to be able to, to, to identify talents of their kids at a very young age, mm. so that as they grow, they become better and they become masters in their craft, and they, you know, they are able to make a living out of it in the future. So coming back to, to your question directly, I think that more can be done. Uh, already there's some efforts that are being done for, for the art industry, especially in recent years, uh, locally and internationally, which is something that we can appreciate. But I also feel that more can be done, especially starting from primary school and you know going up uh, upwards, even up to uh, up, up to tertiary level, where people can really be 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 conscientized to the importance of having to use one's uh, creativity and career in in you know in making a living and to 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 pro sort of remove the stigma that the only key to success is going to class passing a few papers and getting a degree. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's in that being industrious as well is one of the most important things as our world has become more of a promoter of innovation yeah. instead of just knowing and understanding books. Mm -hmm. So really something can be done to, you know, sort of uh, accelerate or sort of to add on to what is already being done in a bid to try and accommodate more art, more crafts, more, more uh, creativity and really help artists to make a living, especially in these terrible times like this of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. you have something special for us right here and our viewers at home on channel 150 Super TV. Do give us our gift right here at this time. It's, I think it's, this it's is the perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a surprise because I was working on it and um, as I was saying earlier on that sometimes it takes a lot of time to, to really work on a painting. So. Uh, for, for the type of paint that I use, they, they, there's different layers, and each mm -hmm. layer really takes time to dry. Yeah. So I was working on it, and I needed some layers to dry up first. So mm -hmm. uh, I may not be able to show it now, but it's definitely going to come, and maybe someday <laughs> you guys are going to show it through. <laughs> that was, well, that's not fair though. I mean, <laughs> like if, even if it's like a little, a little like, like a corner, something, like just, that would, just. That would be that would defeat the whole purpose. There's, okay. there's need to have an element of surprise. Mm -hmm. So where yeah. can people uh, buy your work? And also, when are you? When can we come and get our work from you then? Well, that's yeah, your um, work from us. <laughs> all right. So I, I, I'm, my studio is located in Johannesburg at August House. There, people can come through and uh, view my work directly from my studio. Or um, they can visit my Instagram page, Art by Tabiso Tagamela. And on Facebook, it's Tabiso Dagamela. And on Twitter, it's at Tabiso. And um, I also have an international gallery that represents me, the Traveling Art Gallery, especially in Europe and, and other continents except for America. Mm -hmm. 
so people can just go through and browse through, download the catalog, and uh, get as much art as they want. Mm -hmm. And you guys can come through to the studio and get that piece whenever it's ready. <laughs> we definitely want our piece, Tamila. You owe us one, and thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate it. Thank you so much, Vio. Take care. Thank you. Well, guys, we are going to quickly go to a short break. When we come back, more of gaming and of more of us giving you love. I can't wait for that surprise. I feel like if you also under pressure right now, let us know in all our social media platforms. But for now, let's keep going.